Hey everyone, welcome again to another Dimension X Digital Toy Review. And with uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters coming out, and uh, it's been a bit of a dry spell uh, with new figures coming out that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, the next one I really want to get my hands on is that uh, Ultimate Dancing Pennywise uh, figure that uh, should be hitting stores, I think, next week. I know people who ordered from the online stores are starting to get theirs. Um, I enjoy the hunt too much to do too much online ordering, so um, I, I've got to wait till probably Wednesday. Um, hopefully Wednesday it's on the shelves, probably by Thursday, if not uh, if not then. So, uh, But anyways, I did see Godzilla King of the Monsters. Here's the proof. I got to see it uh, Thursday night, actually, and um, I really did enjoy it. A um, couple minor issues. Um, mostly, mostly very minor. Um, it, there's a couple style stylistic choices that... Um, uh, I wasn't too crazy about, uh, mostly from an editing standpoint. Uh, the, the 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 designs of the monsters are phenomenal, but um, there was a couple there was a couple editing things that really bugged me. But all in all, I thought it was really good. Now, if you do want to read a full review of the of the movie, um, our website is now uh, officially live. Our new logos on there. Um, uh, it's a still a very, I mean, the only thing on the site right now is the main welcome page and my first review. So <laughs> there's plenty more to come, but that is the beginning of, um, of, uh, the dimension, dimension X digital site. So, um, if you do want to read the review, go to www.dimensionxdigital.com, uh, click on the header and look for the dimensional porter to portal tab. And um, uh, the first thing you'll see when you click on that is our Godzilla review. And so if you want to give that a read, great. But um, until I kind of track down another figure I really want to dig into and look at, I figure I'd look into these things. So these are the three SH Monster Arts Godzillas I have. Um, now these are not your typical NECA Godzillas. Uh, they're not your typical anything. These are your these are kind of your pricier premium Godzilla figures. I mean, there's some even more premium than these, um, but this is about what I can get away with buying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I wanted to talk about them. Um, I got three of them here. They're three, pretty much my three favorite Godzilla versions. Um, minus, um, I really want a '95 uh, Burning Godzilla. That's my Godzilla versus Destroyer is my favorite. Godzilla movie ever. Um, I have the NECA um, Burning Godzilla, but I, I really want to get one of these. So um, I figured I'd talk about the ones I do have. Um, so let's get started. I guess we can start um, with, you know, let's go chronologically. I actually This was actually the first one I bought, then this one, then this one. But I'm just going to go left to right here, starting with the 54, and uh, we'll move on. So let me get these guys out of the way, and we'll start up with the 54 version. All right, and we're back. So I figured we look at the packaging because that's you know what we've been doing. So let's let's stick with that. Uh, now the fifty four Godzilla packaging is a little different than the other two I have. The other two are not; um, they're just solid boxes with uh, the the figure printed on them. Uh, the fifty four though actually has a window box. Um, it's again, it's another one of the things that uh, SH uh, Figure Arts or Monster Arts or we'll, we'll just say Bandai um, does, where they really don't show the whole figure even when they have a display box. We saw that with the Common Rider figure that we did the video of earlier. Um, but the box is pretty cool. And actually, this is actually the figure itself. It's not the uh, the suit uh, from the movie. This is the figure, and it it. it the likeness is amazing on it, and we'll get to that when we look at the figure. But uh, the packaging is pretty cool. It's kind of it's kind of like a damaged rip box. It's got some uh, like some claw marks in it, and they wrap around the side here, so you actually can peek in on the on the figure a little bit. Um, and then it's got some really nice uh, shots on the back that are extremely accurate to uh, um, some stills from the photo and. Um, so when you, when you're paying for the extra, um, and you're paying the extra money for the, the figure arts or the monster arts versions, um, not only are you getting more detail in the figure themselves, although, you know, some the NECA ones are, I, I mean, for the price are phenomenal, no knocking on them whatsoever. I have several, but, um, what, another thing you're really getting with the monster arts is, uh, more articulation. And they really show that off here on the box art. Like you'll see them. You got him, you know, stomping or kicking here or whatever, uh, lifting his head up, looking uh, over. And then this is a, I mean, this is spot on to the, uh, the original movie poster. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the box is pretty nice on this one. I, I do like the window display. I wish they would do that with more of the figures. Um, let me back it up a little bit so you can really see it. Um, 
But yeah, so uh, let's let's get rid of the box and look at the figure itself. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So here's the figure itself. Now, one thing that struck me when I first started getting the monster arts was um, I'd only seen photos of them online. And I was like, oh, man, those things are awesome. They look great. You know, here I am stuck with these, you know, these tiny NECA ones. Man, I need to get one of those. <laughs> and I didn't realize some of them are even smaller than the NECA ones. Um, <laughs> so it, <laughs> I was taken aback by it. Um, but then when you really start noticing, like, just the level of detail that are in them and the, and the really spot on likenesses, um, you really start seeing what you're paying for. So like, like if you look at, um, like his neck right here, let me just focus in on that. I mean, he's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five points of articulation just in his neck alone, you know, so you're able to have him look in any which way you want, really, you know, I mean, there is some slight limitation. You don't want to go too nuts with it, but I mean, just, I mean, five in the neck, just the neck is, is crazy. Um, you know, the, uh, he's got some really nice rotating shoulders here. Um, he's got one, two, three more points in, in the arm there. So I think four total, including the shoulder. Um, and then another thing that, um, the monster arts do that's really cool is, um, you're good. You get kind of a double jointed, um, uh, torso. Uh, this, this one doesn't move too much though. My, uh, the other one, the 93 version really does. Um, but he does have some, oh shit, <laughs> whoops, they are also, um, a little more fragile, so, um, luckily though, they, I mean, they just pop right back in, they're kind of, they're kind of designed that way, but, you know, they are really, really poseable, I don't think Godzilla's ever been this limber on film, but, um, hey, if you want to make him break dance or something, you have, you have the power, also the tail, the tail articulation in the monster arts figures is really, really something, and um, NECA has been getting better about that. Uh, their tail articulation um, in the new uh, King of the Monsters Godzilla we saw um, is is really nice. And, you know, they're really catching up. Like, I'd say that the uh, the NECA uh, King of the Monsters version has a little bit um, even nicer detailing on the dorsal fins than this one. Although these are a lot, um, they're a lot stronger feeling. They're more solid. Um, but, however, the figures themselves are actually um, a little bit lighter. They're less, like, thick solid plastic molds but i think i mean they do that just to, oh hey look there's another uh another joint in the neck there that uh, we missed earlier um but um they are a lot lighter than you would think they are especially um if you've handled the neck versions a lot um you know so um it, it's 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 a kind of, it's kind of jarring when you first start buying these because you're like, oh my god, I didn't know they were so small or I didn't know that they were so light. But then you really start, you know, messing with them and and uh, I mean, look at his face here. I mean, that likeness, and of course, of course, he has a hinged jaw. Let's open him up. There we go. And you can open up nice and wide. Really, really. Let's see if I can focus more. There we go. Really nice detailing in there, you know, detailing on the tongue. All the teeth are nice and separated, nice and sharp. Um, his eyes have a really great, almost like lively look to them. His proportions are just absolutely perfect um, when it comes to this, to the model. And they really all are. The Monster Arts Godzillas um, are incredibly accurate to the suits that they are uh, modeled after. And um, the, this one, I, you know, the the original Godzilla is hands down one of the best in the entire series. A lot of people have it as their number one film, or at least in their top five. Um, it it's one of the few that, I mean, there's no there's no cheese ball nothing in it. You know, it is um, it's it's pretty hardcore from the moment it begins to the moment it ends. And you know, I mean, of course, the history behind it and the the the, the history of Japan up to that point. You know, obviously, this wasn't just a, it wasn't just a, a monster movie to them. It was, uh, you know, I, I would say it would almost be therapeutic um, or cathartic for uh, for them at that point. But I mean, you can just see, I mean, just the 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 detail in the in the sculpt and the suit it just really pops out with, you know, just some nice light hitting it. Um, and you can just pose him up so well. He's really nice and balanced. You know, you can really bring him to life if you mess with him around. So this one I'm really, really happy with. I remember someone, I, I saw someone online, I, I had posted a picture and he was saying, oh, well, I wish, you know, I'll, I'll buy one when they make a, a version where the eyes are more accurate. And 
I thought he was out of his mind, and I told him that. I was like, uh, well, I don't. I think you're going to be waiting for a while to own one of these uh, because this is pretty much as good as it gets, you know. And he, his point was that the pupils were a little. Uh, he thought they were a little too big. I think after watching the film multiple times, countless times, um, seeing you know the suit in stills and in behind the scenes and you know the production of it. I think they're spot on. I mean, if they're any, if they're too big, we're talking, we're talking hair, razor, razor thin. So, you know, I guess you just can't please anybody, but I'm, I'm so happy to have this on my shelf. This is something I, I would just never give, get rid of, you know, I mean, it would take a hell of a trade to get this off my hands. Any, any of these three that I have would are, you know, they're, they're, they're around for the long haul. All right. So, um, you know, let me pause it up. And uh, let's move on to the 93 version, and then I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So now we're looking at the uh, Godzilla 93. Uh, this would be Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 um, from the uh, Heisei series. Uh, this is the Ore Noriyoshi poster version. So this one is um, it's modeled um, after the suit in the, in the movie, but the color scheme is actually based off the poster done, done by him. Um, and you can see this one does not have a window box on it at all. This one's just a solid, um, uh, box. No, you can't see the figure. So again, when I bought this, this was the first one I bought. This was my first monster arts Godzilla and I was so stoked for it. And when I opened it up, I was like, what, <laughs> why is it so small? I thought they were bigger. I thought like, oh, his body's here. The tails appear and I'm going to snap them together. He's going to be this big. Um, but, uh, no, he, I mean, they're roughly the same size as the NECA's and, um, uh, uh, but like I said, you know, the detail and the articulation is a lot different, but yeah, that was, that was my first experience with these. Um, and so I really, you know, once but I'm telling you, once you really get your hands on these, um, they're, they're just, they're just so awesome. So, uh, this one here, this one's a little, uh, uh, different, you know, um, it's got, you know, some of the, um, uh, some of the tanks and, you know, stuff on that, uh, just regular, well, it's got a nice silhouette here. I actually really like the side of that box. And then on the back, it, there's some really great uh, shots on the back here of this figure. And he's a very lively looking version of uh, Godzilla. This one I love having on the shelf. He, he just really looks like he, he comes alive. And um, you can see the little poster down here. And you're like, oh, it's tiny. Well, don't worry, because it actually comes with a really nice, like, 5x7 ver uh, print of the of the poster itself. So you could even have this displayed behind your figure or something. Um, but truth be told, I actually just keep this in the box just so it doesn't, um, uh, what do you call it? It doesn't get, you know, bent up and whatnot. Uh, but it actually, you know, and it has, you know, a little more inf information on the back. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's get rid of the box and uh, get to the figure itself. And that is right here. So you can see, he's a lot different than the 54 version. He's a lot more colorful. He's a lot more animalistic looking. Um, he has this really awesome kind of like glowing um, effect on his dorsal fins. Um, he's got this awesome yellow... Um, yellow and green highlights in his uh in his scales or whatever you want to call them he's got these big fat thunder thighs whoops anyways over there getting in the way and uh he has this really great tail too his tail is huge you can see you can barely keep it in the frame but then again if you think that's big wait till the next one <laughs> But, um, yeah, he's, he's just such a real, he's such a great looking Godzilla and he, he poses so well. Um, sometimes you have to mess with his jaw a little bit here, but one thing I really like about this one, and if you look inside his mouth, he's got his, uh, double rows of teeth here, almost like, you know, almost like shark teeth. And, uh, that's, um, you know, what, what's funny is that NECA in their 95s actually get this detail right too. I was really surprised when I first saw that, but you can see his eyes have this awesome paint job. And let me see if I can really find an angle where that comes out. Let me see. You can see there's like orangish, like a reddish orange around, like, and then his pupil is just like yellow, like, like, a, like almost like a marigold, like really rich yellow. And uh, there you go. You can kind of see right there really well. But he is just such a mean looking Godzilla figure. Um, the sculpt on his head is perfect. Um, I really, really like how they got his dorsal fins and his ears right. Um, 
Uh, again, you have, um, you know, more of a double jointed uh, torso. Oh, <laughs> get back on camera. You have more of a double jointed torso in there. And, you know, again, it, it, sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit, but the articulation is there. Um, his neck actually has a little less uh, articulation than the 54 version. There's only, only one, two, uh, maybe three major joints here. And then you can kind of mess with his head a bit. His jaw is fully hinged. Um, his arms, uh, his arms are, are really nice. His arms are kind of where he really shines, um, compared to some of the other ones. Um, got, you know, shoulder, bicep, elbow, um, uh, forearm and his wrist there. And, um, I actually pulled the clamshell out because he's one of the, he's one of the, well, I don't know how many other ones do, but in his clamshell that he comes in, he actually comes with two extra hands. Um, uh, I think they're a little bit more wide open, like kind of like, uh, like clawed out. But, you know, hey, cool. It's always nice to get something a little extra, especially when you're paying for the for the premium figures. But um, I really, really love this figure. I, 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 I just love how dynamic he looks and how uh, he just looks like he just looks mean, dude. Like he looks like he's ready to throw down. And uh, but you can see he's um, they really they really do capture that glow effect of his uh, his dorsal fins uh, that's on the poster there. And. You know, so this one I, I really like this. I mean, after I got him, I I've gotten pretty hooked on the uh, the monster art stuff, and there's so many more I want, but you know, uh, there's only so much money <laughs> that I that I can justify spending on um on on multiple Godzillas, but um I do have the um the monster arts uh king of the monsters king Ghidorah on pre-order but that doesn't ship till july so um i'm definitely going to be reviewing that but we're gonna have to wait and i'm probably gonna have to shoot that one in 16 by 9 instead of the the one by one frame i've been using for these because i like this for, you, might, you guys might be wondering why do i shoot this in like this kind of square four by three almost like aspect ratio and it's because like with the full frame one you're getting too much of my desk um and uh two some of the figures even if they're not that tall just kind of don't you kind of the, it, it just doesn't work trust me I, i've tested it so this i found this aspect ratio in case you're wondering just works really well to kind of uh kind of gives me a little more room to play and gives you more of a top to bottom look especially when they keep <laughs> and, and unless they keep knocking the stuff in the background i might have to get rid of that pennywise for the next one we're never going to get through this but uh yeah so the 93 um uh versus um uh, Mecha Godzilla 2 version or po you know poster version even <laughs> kind of a complicated name for a figure this one's really nice I don't think his tails as po I mean he's got some posability in his tail but I don't think it's as good as the the 54 version um however the the overall sculpt on him the coloring like you know I mean you can see he's he's just awesome he is just so awesome and uh, yeah, once I get my hands on a 95, man, I'm gonna be a happy guy. So um, all right, so let me put him, let me put him down, and then we'll bust out our third and final one. All right, and we're back. And as you can see, this thing is massive. <laughs> I can't even get the full box, so I have to move the camera back. But yeah, so this is the um, uh, Godzilla uh, 2016 Shin Godzilla. This is the fourth form Frozen version. So. Um, I wanted to get the actual nor the the regular normal uh, frozen version, but then when I was looking at some uh, reviews, um, I heard a lot of complaints about the uh, the paint application being like too shiny, and there was just like it, it just kind of seemed like it wasn't worth the money, and um, so I was kind of bummed out about that. Although truth be told, I think they have released a second version of it where they've where they've rep or uh, corrected the paint um, the uh, complaints that people had. So um, I probably, I will try to track that one down, you know, maybe um, maybe after I get Ghidorah in my hands and I'm ready for another bigger purchase. But um, I love this figure. And it was actually kind of a um, kind of a blessing in disguise because this version, um, the sculpt is just unreal. And the paint application on it really, really lets you see it. So um, you, I, I can't wait to show it off. But anyway, so the box here, again, there's no window. Just has this really awesome shot of the figure itself. And then, um, I mean, the thing that really sold me on this, because I was originally, I was like, man, I really love, you know, the black and red, like, really messed up looking Shin Godzilla. It's one of my favorite designs. Like, I know a lot of fans kind of had issues with it, but I, I loved it immediately. It was, I, I was just floored by it. I love the look of it. 
Um, however, I love the tail um, at the end of the film. It's one of the most awesome scenes in the movie. Um, so here, let's get to the figure itself. Let me, so another side shot. And then on the back, you have some really nice, uh, um, shots of it as well. Um, but enough of the box. Let, let me set the camera back down and I'll get the figure out in front. And we'll really look at this. All right, we're back. And I got Pennywise out of the way there. So we won't be smashing anything because if you thought the tails on the other, uh, two figures were big, you've seen nothing because this guy is a beast and his tail is ridiculously huge um <laughs> but anyways uh i mean look at the sculpt on this guy i mean his the level of detail on it is incredible i mean the dorsal fins they are they are freaking sharp dude like they are so sharp and they are dense as all hell and he is just massive and let's let's try to get close up to his face. And they really got that. I mean, look at that. The sculpt is incredible. And with this kind of like two-toned, like gray white, I mean, you just see every little bit of detail in this figure. Like, um, I just remember being floored by this. Like all these little hidden details, all that texturing on the inside of the dorsal fins here. I mean, it's just nuts. And he has a very nice articulated uh, hinge jaw there. You know, like, I, and I mean, that's another thing I love in that movie. When he unhinges his jaw and goes to the town. Oh, my God. Truth be told, um, I got the see Shin Godzilla in the theater when um, it was shown in the U.S. They only showed it for two nights. And I can't remember what the first night was. I thought it was like a Thursday, Friday thing, but it ended up being like a Wednesday, Thursday. And so I was like, oh, I should check times. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow. You know, it's kind of late. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow. And then I realized when I was looking at the time, that was the last day to see it. And my wife was like seven and a half, eight months pregnant or something. Or eight, yeah, I think she was like eight months pregnant. And I was like, get your coat. We got to go. <laughs> and we written and, and we, we got, uh, we got to the theater. And during that scene, um, she kind of started feeling a little, you know, weird and um after the movie was over we realized she she's she'd been having contractions <laughs> and uh we went we had to go to the hospital and she actually had started having some early labor pains and um she actually had to take some some medication to to finish out the the third term and and now it's so funny now that our, our son he's uh he's the biggest Godzilla nut he I showed I showed his toys in one of the videos before he loves Godzilla and he loves Shin Godzilla which is so funny because you know, it's not the most exciting Godzilla movie. I mean, when there's action, there's it's it's awesome. But um, a lot of movies, people talking in offices. But he loves it, and I'm I'm telling you, it's he he heard it and he wanted out. <laughs> so, anyways, back to the figure. Enough of my um, enough of my reminiscing. But um, I mean, yeah, look at look at the inside of his mouth. Whoops, sorry, I keep bumping my camera so much. Let me kind of angle him so you can really see the detail in there. Let's get some light on him. But I mean. It's just incredible, this figure. And now, remember, look at this tail. Look at it. It is huge, fully extended. I can't even keep it into the frame. I mean, I can get his head out, and it's still not fully in frame if I fully extend it down. He is huge. And that's one of the one of the cooler parts about this character design. A lot of people kind of made fun of it, like, oh, his tail is so big. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, I mean, why wouldn't it be? And it's a very striking image, and... Um, yeah, I, I just love this design. So I, I was actually really happy to kind of, uh, I, I, at first I felt like I was settling for the frozen version because, you know, it wasn't the black and red version, which I really liked. But, um, after seeing it and having it in my hands, I was just immediately floored by it. Um, now let's take a look at that tail alone because, you know, here, let's get that in focus. Dang it. Hold on. I might have to get creative with this. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> so I mean, but look look at the detail just on just on the end of that tail. You know, you have all these little tiny little Godzillas coming out. You have that one grabbing his face. Uh this one is kind of arching back. This one's curled up. And um it even has, you know, the face, um the second Godzilla face that uh was forming. And uh there was a 
I, I think they said there was going to be a sequence where basically like um, there was he, his tail was going to have like a secondary head. But the whole thing was that like, you know, throughout the whole movie, he kind of ad uh, adapts to, um, you know, the weapons they are using and the situations and the and the environment. And so finally, he kind of realized like, you know, I'm too big of a target. I need to just get down there. And he kind of, you know, and, and a lot of people have said that there it's a it's it's supposed to be. He was defeated by a a group of people or by a council, so he was creating his own kind of group of Godzillas, which, I mean, you can read into it in several ways, but, I mean, give me a break, man. I mean, to squeeze all that detail into these tiny, tiny things. I mean, these guys, look how small that is. Look how small that is. And, you know, if I, if I could, I would get the camera just a little bit closer. Maybe, here, maybe I can, just to keep it in focus. But all that detail in such a small amount of space is just awesome. I mean, it's really an accomplishment, you know, for these figure, for these, uh, for these figure sculptors and these artists who make these things. I mean, and this is what I love about action figures. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I've told that to my wife so many times. I mean, she doesn't care. She knows this is what I love, and she, you know, she, she has no issue with it whatsoever. Um, uh, but, you know, I've, of course, talked to her about it and I'm saying like, you know, it's always nice to have something tangible of something that you really love, um, especially if it's something that, um, you know, is from like a movie or something that isn't, you know, just can never be real. You know what I mean? And so to have something just that just is so awesome and so perfectly executed and to be able to just kind of, you know, mess around with it and move it around, you know, it, it really does mean something to, to someone when you, when you're a fan of stuff like this. And, um, you know, and again, I mean, look at the articulation. On him. I mean, he's got articulation everywhere, um, all over his neck. He's got like a double hinged jaw. He's got, you know, everything in his, you know, his lace, his tail is, is actually really, really articulated. Um, I just don't mess with it too much. Um, and the sculpt level is just unbelievable. Um, this, this figure and my NECA 1990 turtles are probably my, like my end all be all of great action figures and like perfect kind of capturing of a character. You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, this, I, I, I told her if I die, you gotta bury me with my, my turtles and bury me with my Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> so it, that will tell you how much I, I love this figure and just how how awesome they how awesome it is and just how perfectly they captured it. Um, so yeah, you know, um, again, uh, if you want to re if you want to hear my full thoughts on um, Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, check out our website that um, um, I, I will be posting you know written reviews and um, I should be. Um, embedding or linking all these videos on there too um you know we're gonna have I'll, I'll put news updates on there and the site will grow and evolve especially when i get more time to really focus on it but um i you know i'm doing you know what i can as i can you know i have a lot of i'm, I'm juggling other things but um I, I you know i have noticed the view counts have gone up uh subscriber we're gaining subscribers uh people are commenting on the videos and that's so cool you know i mean that's why i start that's why i want to start doing this because um it's so fun to sit and talk about this stuff. And I must be having a good time because we're at 28 minutes and 39 seconds right now. <laughs> and if you're one of the people that's sitting and watching these videos from beginning to end, I applaud you. I, uh, I, I, I can't imagine doing it. But if you are, even if you're skimming the videos, you know, thank you so much for, for, for watching, for watching these and letting me and letting me talk about this stuff and, and engage with everyone because it's, it's been really fun and, um, I'm really going to try to do, you know, really consistent work and I cannot wait to start doing our on camera, um, uh, review show and, and conversations. Cause that's one thing I noticed. Cause I mean, truth be told, I have not had to write a paper in years. And so when I wrote that Godzilla review, it is very long and it, um it was almost like a stream of consciousness thing and of course i wanted to get it posted so maybe you know for all i know it could need some more editing or could have been edited more but um um 
I realize I'm going to be a lot more can <laughs> a lot more comfortable talking about something like that on camera in a, in a more um, or organic and dynamic um, fashion. So um, we are building our set right now for that. Uh, we're getting um, uh, our stop motion working. We're still working on that. It's been a, it has been a busy weekend, and so but tomorrow I'm going to try to get some stuff done. Um, but anyways, uh, that, that's enough rambling on. We're at 30 minutes now. I think this is, is this our longest video? Probably. All right. So anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any of the monster art stuff, um, let me know, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if there's any that like I need to have. Um, I've been debating getting a Showa Mecha Godzilla because I really love that design. Um, but I don't know, um, if you have that one, let me know if it's worth it because that one's been on my list for a bit. Um, if you, uh, know where I can get us, um, one of the burning Godzillas for a good price, let me know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, um, you know, thank you again for, for, uh, um, for letting me do this and for helping the channel grow. And, um, next week I will definitely be doing the dancing Pennywise video as soon as I get my hands on one. And uh, maybe I'll do uh, some more updates and stuff in between there. So anyways, thanks again. Um, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, if you could, if you want to, awesome. Um, and uh, check out our website, uh, www.dimensionxdigital.com. Check out my Godzilla King of the Monsters review. I wanted to do it on camera. <laughs> Sorry, life, um, life uh, is, you know, life is life. And I, I couldn't get the show ready in time or the set done in time. Um, so unfortunately I, that, that movie that I wanted to launch with is going to, it's, it's written, it's a written review, but, um, you know, let me know what you thought of that movie too. Um, so anyways, yeah, until next time guys, take care.